Hello and welcome to another Power Tools for Power Automate demonstration. In this video, we are going to look at the action perform batch regex match on input string. Now this one is a bit trickier, but it is a super powerful action. So if we consider this text of this email that I've received, um, and we want to pass the metadata from it. So I want the invoice and the order number, the date, um, the subtotal, the delivery, and the VAT, and the grand total. We're gonna grab all of that information in a single action. Now, in order to do this, you, you clearly need some knowledge of regular expressions. Um, but what I like to do is, because I'm no regular expression expert, is I have saved this um, down to a text file, and I'm just going to attach it to ChatGPT um, here. And what I will do is, for the prompt, I will say, Okay, so I've asked it to generate me regular expressions to extract the invoice number, date, subtotal, delivery, VAT, and grand total. Now, what we can do is if we go to reg regex 101, we can test these out before we use them. So I'm just gonna grab that text I'm going to put it into regex 101 and then we can take the expression that it has given us. So we can see that it does match, but it's also bringing back the text invoice and order number when we just want only the value. So I'm going to say Okay, so let's try that. Okay, and that grabs just the order number. And let's have a look at this one, the date. And that matches that, so I'm happy with how they look. So what I'm gonna do is click on copy for this one, and I'm gonna to go to my perform batch regex match and I'm gonna use the outputs of the compose for the input. Now I get to choose the property name. So I'm gonna put invoice number and then I'm gonna put the pattern. Now there's a bunch of other stuff that I can add in here, but I don't, options, but I don't need those. So I'll move straight to my second one, which is date. So let's say date, this is the pattern. I'll just keep going through. Okay, so I've added in all the bits that I want now. We will also grab the order detail, the order line details, but we'll do that in a separate action. So let's take a look at how that looks. And if it worked. Okay, so we have all of that metadata from the input string in a single action in a nice JSON that we can use. But let's now add in one of the other Power Tools actions and let's do um, just a normal regex match this time. And then we will use the outputs of the compose for the input and we'll go back to ChatGPT and we'll say now, please also 
create a pattern which will be as of the order lines. Let's just have a look at the text. Uh, so we've got quantity, the description, and then the amount. Okay, so it's generated us something we can work with. So let's have a look here. So that did not find anything. Um, so let's Okay, so I said please make the regex C sharp compatible. So let's paste that in. Okay, so that almost worked. Got one match. Okay, didn't quite get it. So we'll say that almost Looks a bit simpler. Okay, so that regular expression matches the first and the second one. So let's now put that into our flow. And I want to do a global search. So yeah, that's fine. So let's have a look at the output of that. Okay, so let's have a look at the output. So here's our complete match, but it should also return some things in the groups, which it does. And the same for this one. So the outer body of this is an array with this object that contains the groups. So I'm just gonna put this into notepad so we can remember what it looks like. And what I will do is add a select here. and it will be the output of this. And I'm gonna do quantity and it will be item. And this is the item, so it's gonna be groups zero. I'm just gonna copy that. And then the next thing we've got is the description. So that'll be groups one. And the last is the cost, call that value. Okay, so now let's have a look at the output of the select. Okay, so now we've got a nice uh, output of the order lines as well. So then I will add a compose and I'll rename this to uh, complete details. And I use the expression add property and my dynamic content for that will be the output of the perform batch regex and the property will be order lines and the dynamic content will be the app of the select and that should give us a JSON with all the order metadata plus the detail of each order line Okay, let's see what we got. 
So we've got all the metadata plus the details of each individual order line. Now we can grab that and just add that into a parse JSON step. And put that in there. And now we'll have that complete dynamic output usable in any subsequent action. So from here, I can pick the invoice number, the subtotal, the delivery, anything I want. Let's just take the grand total, for example, and I can use anything easily from there. So you can see the power of that perform batch regex tool to really simplify your flows and make extracting data from text to create a JSON object dead simple. So I hope that is clear. Let me know if you've got any questions. Um, check out the Power Tools page for further details of all the other actions available in the Power Tools suite of actions. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.